so hello team so today we are going to discuss about something called mamba so mamba is nothing but a alternative to transformer based architecture in the field of deep learning so you know researchers have come up with you know this paper which is again uh, based on something called state space models and it exhibit you know exceptional performance compared to the traditional transformers architecture and again in this whole paper they try to see you know how does it perform on language audio and genetics and they published uh, you know some of the models also so uh, you know for the language modeling as such they have published uh, some models uh, right from 130 million parameters to 2.8 billion parameters so what today we are trying to do is instead of going through that paper and again this paper is very interesting and it has some comparison benchmarks also available what we would like love to do is we would love to go through the code source code of what has been done within this specific uh, mamba library so you know uh, we will walk through try to run you know through the mamba raw code as well as we will try to explore something called mamba chat and this is definitely a worthwhile uh, you know paper to see or worthwhile report to explore because again it, it it's quite different from the traditional transformer based model so yeah let's try to go through the code so let me walk through the code first so basically what I try to do first is I wanted to a particular drive and then I installed some base libraries. So these are the two minimum requirement which you need to install to let Mamba work. And then uh, there was some problem with installing CUDA. So this is the hack for installing CUDA and make it work with PyTorch. So you can go through this link and see the details. But if you will follow this, you will be able to install uh, this CUDA library perfectly. I am using A100 here, so I'm using Collab with A100. Uh, that's what I'm trying to use. Now I divided it into two steps. So first of all, I just wanted to run a raw Mamba, uh, you know, file. So basically, uh, if you go to the original repository, you will get to know that you know what the original developers of Mamba have done is they have installed. Uh, this uh, you know they have fine-tuned this thing on uh, pile data set and they have put it into hugging face so if you go to hugging face you will be able to see all the models they have put from right from 130 million to 2.8 billion parameters model so that's what I wanted to do so I just wanted to see you know uh, try to use this first and that's what I did so basically you know um, I went and uh, just like in any transformers, you know that you know there's a tokenizer, there's a model file. So you know the tokenizer it uses is again GPT new X20B, but the model it's using is state space Mama 28.B, which is given here. So this is the model which I'm trying to use. And just like any transformer model, I just try to tokenize the text and try to find out what is the answer. So you know I'm just giving a very simple. A rudimentary example of just tell me what is the meaning of life and I generated some text you know something like what is life and so on so this is one case which I wanted to try uh, remember I'm using a hundred here so the other thing which I wanted to try was uh, something called Mamba chat so if you go to this link what you will find is some nice folks have actually fine-tuned the you know uh, Mamba model with something called ultra chat so those who are not aware ultra chat 200k is the you know conversation of 200 uh, you know conversations so basically you have around uh, you know some dialogues and their answers which are given here uh, in 200k data set and it's again from hugging face so it follows you know Zephyr uh, 7b format so that's what it tries to do and since these guys have already fine-tuned uh, for this specific question, I just wanted to see, you know, how does it work for some specific business problems? So uh, that's what I wanted to do. So again, I deleted the raw Mamba files. And then what I try to do is again, use this boilerplate code to find out how does it work. So again, the code is pretty self-explanatory. It has tokenizer and model. 
and then what I try to do is I just try to give it some you know user message and just wanted to find out what the answer it gives so for example I just ask you know what is the date of announcement and this is a sort of context so this is again a merger and acquisition news so I just try to see what is the what what it will throw as answer so if you see the answer is August 10 and the answer which uh, Mamba chat gave me is the announcement of the purchase of this is by this and the announcement is you know August 10 2019 now this 2019 I think it was added extra but yeah I will just uh, uh, make it or I will assume it that it's a right answer the second thing which I try to do is again I just have the same context I just ask it a second question which is who is the acquirer in this again it came with the reply which is the acquirer is GSW Geo Energy which is right and again it is a you know subsidiary of GSW energy and all so yeah so this is how it performs so uh, you know again this ultra chat a member ultra chat is pretty light in nature so uh, no complaints there so it was pretty fast and it was able to fetch the output now going forward I would try to fine tune on uh, you know own data set so rather than using ultra chat maybe I'm going to use you know something on merger acquisition or let's say something in you know, marketing and sales and we'll try to see how does it perform so I will be posting that collab or that video also very soon so thank you team thanks for watching bye